Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, you are meeting today in Paris to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the International Ener Energy Agency and its presence in Paris. I wanted to say a few words by video as I'm unfortunately unable to be with you to host this important event. First of all, I would like to say how proud we are to host the International Energy Agency in Paris. Proud because since the oil crisis that led to the creation of the agency in 1974, international cooperation on energy issues has never ceased to be an absolute necessity. The impact of the war in Ukraine on energy security, market stability, as well as the recent events in the Red Sea provide new evidence of this necessity. We are also very proud that since its creation, the agency has been able to profoundly shift its mandate. From an agency dedicated to managing strategic oil reserves, it has now become a global hub for debate and collective action to meet the challenge of the energy transition. The IEA has become, so to speak, our armed wing for implementing the Paris Agreement, given that energy accounts for more than 75% of global greenhouse gas emissions. In this respect, I would like to pay tribute to the committed and persevering work of Dr. Fatih Birol. In the eight years that you have been at the head of the IEA, dear Fatih, you have brought about a revolution within the agency. Your voice has become one of the strongest in the fight against climate change. I know how important it is for you to continue to place the IEA at the forefront of tomorrow's energy challenges while continuing to respond to climate crisis and immediate crisis. You have our full support. Indeed, it is a revolution that we need if we are, if we are to move away from fossil fuels, which is now an objective we all share since the historical step we took at COP28. Firstly, it is a technological and industrial revolution. France is fully committed to achieve this through its energy planning. The first emergency is to get rid of coal. We'll be doing that as early as 2027 for France. But we will also be phasing out oil and gas. By 2030, fossil fuels will account for less than half of the French energy mix, a first since the Industrial Revolution. Europe, too, is fully committed to this path. But my conviction is that moving away from fossil fuels also requires a political revolution at the international level. Indeed, the global energy transition necessarily goes hand in hand with a large-scale international solidarity plan. This transition will either be fair, equitable, and a source of uh, social progress and development, or it will not be. And we must never be the fight against climate change against the fight against poverty. I know how much the International Energy Agency shares this conviction, which is at the heart of the Paris Pact for People and Planet, now supported by 45 countries around the world. On all this front, the commitment of all those gathered in Paris today is crucial. To lead this revolution, we need leadership, innovation, courage from governments and businesses around the world. The International Energy Agency has the essential miss mission of bringing together and supporting all those who want to make a difference. I'm also a firm believer in the promise of multilateralism on these issues. And I would like to take this opportunity to reiterate my full support for the agency's efforts to welcome emerging economies whether through the recent association of Kenya and Senegal or the launch of negotiations with India to join the IEA as a full member. On all these issues, you can count on my unfa unfailing commitment and that of France, which has been welcoming you with pride for 50 years. Even after 50 years, this is just the beginning and we'll, we will fight together with you. Je vous souhaite une excellente réception, un très bon anniversaire, beaucoup de courage et nous continuons.